One of the more troubling matters that I find more and more increasing in our times is the predominance of strange and unorthodox and heretical interpretations of Islam. It is so common to find our people in the congregation and especially our youngsters hear something online from some random person without any training in Islam. And he plants in their minds a bizarre understanding of the Quran, of our tradition. And this person begins to believe it. And it goes against the mainstream beliefs of our faith and our tradition. And what we have seen historically, and I've encountered this myself, when a person begins to deviate from mainstream Islam, this is the stepping stone to deviate from Islam itself. When a person abandons traditional beliefs, and they start tinkering and believing in the fringe types of understandings, typically you find this person going away and away until finally, وَالْعِيَادُ billah, They leave the faith in its entirety. And there are a number of reasons why these bizarre interpretations are on the rise. Of them of course, and let's be honest here, social media and Facebook and YouTube. What social media has done is unprecedented in the history of mankind. Where a person in the privacy of his or her room, in the basement of his father's house, can put a message that is globally accessible. This is unprecedented. And so what happens is that eloquence wins over knowledge. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that inna min al-bayani la Some types of speech is almost magical. You lose track of the content and the person mesmerizes you. The person is able to convince you of something not because of the content, but because of the style, the rhetoric, because of the package and the content is swallowed down. And we see here the rise of these pseudo-preachers across the globe, in Pakistan, in Egypt, in Belgium, across England, everywhere here in America. People without knowledge become authorities in the faith. And by the way, this only happens in Islam. Nobody who has no training in, in engineering becomes an engineer online. Nobody who has no training in medicine becomes a famous doctor. But for some reason, our religion has the least izzah amongst the masses. And so a person who has never trained, never studied the Quran, can't even recite Fatiha properly, becomes an authority on the religion because that person can mesmerize the audience. And of the reason as well, why these types of, of beliefs are on the rise is because because of the lack of real ulama and scholars. Fewer and fewer people are becoming scholars of this religion. And even those that are, many of them are not qualified to refute these unorthodox interpretations. And our Prophet ﷺ predicted that of the signs of judgment day is that ulama will die and ignorant people will be boosted up, so that finally those ignorant people will be considered to be ulama. And our Prophet ﷺ predicted that of the signs of the judgment day, he said in Arabic that the ruwaybida are going to be giving the speeches and the rule and whatnot. And they asked him, who are the ruwaybida? Who are these people? And the ruwaybida are those, he said, they don't have the knowledge, they are the juhal. They don't have the knowledge, and yet people consider them to have knowledge. Hey <sighs>